This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist, here with Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. With the first half of the year behind us, stocks kicked off the holiday shortened week of the second half with concerns that perhaps the best of the economic recovery from the pandemic is behind us. The S&P 500 index snapped a seven-day winning streak, its longest since August, while bonds rose with a 10-year Treasury bond yield falling briefly under 1.3%. Now, that's the lowest in five months. Investors hit the pause button when the ISM Services Index, a major gauge of the services sector, you know, the largest sector of our economy, slowed to 60.1 in June versus analyst expectations of 63.5. Now, this followed the jobs report, which showed unemployment rose to 5.9% against the 5.6% expectation. Now, you combine this with all the other investors' concerns about the Delta variant, China, cyber attacks, stretch valuations, OPEC, taxes, antitrust, inflation, and unfilled jobs. And it's a wonder stocks didn't correct earlier, especially since Wall Street strategists have a consensus year-end target for the S&P 500 of 4,200. That's almost 3% below where the market is trading right now. Well, you know what I always say about Wall Street, often wrong, but never in doubt. Why ever listen to them anyway? We all know no one is smarter than the market. And the market has been on a tear. The S&P has gained 5% for five quarters in a row, only the second time since 1945. The first time was 1956. The index proceeded to gain 26% over the next 12 months. Historically, strength begets strength when it comes to the U.S. stock market. Whenever the S&P 500 index stays above its 200-day moving average for the year, the market finishes higher 88% of the time with an average return of 26%. Well, let's hope history repeats. But the most important lesson from history that I have learned is that risks we all recognize and read about in the news is basically noise and rarely the most important risk in hindsight. We saw that last year when it turned out the biggest risk to the economy and the market and our lives wasn't the Fed, wasn't the government, wasn't anything we fretted about on the financial news. It was a virus, a pandemic, a black swan event, something that couldn't be predicted or known. This is why you should never, ever build a portfolio on the basis of anticipation. Event-driven portfolios usually underperform dramatically. A process-driven strategy based on your unique goals built with evidence-based portfolios is the only way to go. And that's how we roll here at Payne Capital Management. Hey, if you're sitting to yourself thinking right now, I need a process-driven strategy. I need a portfolio that's based on evidence, based on the history of probability of return, not based on anticipation of events that can't be known, that can't be predicted. Well, here's your opportunity. My son, Ryan, and I have over 75 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, process-driven portfolios. All you need to do to take advantage of our expertise is to text or call 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. Or just simply call 844 PLAN NYC. That's 844 PLANNYC.